Okay, welcome to another video. Uh, this today won't be a review, this will be how to do something with some electrical stuff. What we have here is a 92mm fan, it can be any old fan. Uh, this is a computer fan, uh, so the idea is plug the fan into the wall with an adapter, which we have here. Uh, this is a DC brushless fan, if you can just about make that out. Uh, it's 12 volts and it uses 0.15 amps so to find the suitable transformer we need to look and see what the ratings are as it's a DC fan we need to make sure that the transformer supports DC uh, that's that's definitely what we need uh, anything that only supports AC wouldn't wouldn't work at all uh, up to 12 volts as so this is a little uh, you can change the voltages here uh, then we've got current up to 1000 milliamps. Uh, the fan will take as many amps as it needs. Uh, you can't really change that, uh, except it depends on what fan, obviously. Uh, this is 0.15 amps, so uh, that's how much it's going to take. And make sure that if you're adding more than one fan, that you don't go over this current here, 1000 milliamps, which is one amp, uh, which means that with this fan, you two would use 0.3 amps, uh, four would obviously use 0.6, and uh, six would use 0.9, and uh, six would be the maximum that this transformer could use uh, for power. Anyway, what we need to do is make sure that we get the poles correct. So we've got a uh, polarity, which tells us here after uh, I've taken the end off. So I don't actually know which which is the correct one to be uh, using here. So I'm going to guess and then hopefully edit the video so you can't tell if I've done it wrong. Uh, what we've got is the two ends to this transformer. Uh, it used to have a little plug like the uh, diagram down here, uh, but I just took the plug off with a pair of scissors or the Swiss Army knife here. Uh, I cut it off and then obviously we just need to strip the wire which is getting the knife and then the easiest way to do it would be to push your finger down, on uh, thumb down onto the knife. Uh, obviously not too hard with the uh, wire in between. And then uh, just pull outwards and then pull away from yourself so you don't cut yourself. Uh, and then do that for the other side. And also here on the fan, I have uh, cut the end off the fan. Maybe if you've got a fan like this used to be, but before the video, so I wanted to show you from scratch, uh, that used to have a little plug on the end, which also had an adapter which went to a larger plug for uh, different power supplies. Uh, and if you changed it on the adapter, you'll be able to uh, unplug it and plug it into your computer if you ever wanted to do that. But I'm pretty sure I won't be wanting to do that with this. And even if I do, it'll only be about four or five pounds for a new fan, uh, probably less. Okay, so we, I'm going to get uh, hopefully the small knife out here on the uh, Swiss Army knife. And then get, forget about the yellow one, which is going to be earth. If you don't have an earth terminal on the uh, transformer, so because it doesn't really need one, as uh, so we're on low voltages and amps and everything, low current. Uh, then we just do what I was saying a minute ago. Okay, so what I've done is just strip the wire off, as I was doing a minute ago. Uh, and twist at the end so that they're nice and uh, clean. So now we want to get the plug, uh, the end of the uh, power supply, sorry. And uh, I'm going to think that that one with the lines has, is negative and then the other one is positive. Uh, red being positive and white being negative on here, of course. Uh, they're, a bit, they're at a different length, so uh, just sort it out by moving these around. So not such a problem. Uh, I'm going to go with there and just twist these as we twisted them before to make them a bit neater. Uh, it, it makes a pretty good uh, contact with the surface and hopefully it will be electrically fine. And uh, then the other one, as you can see I'm, I'm holding them down the bottom at the same place and it's nice and easy to twist them together then doesn't take long. Okay, so to insulate these, we don't want them touching, uh, we're going to be using, or I'm going to be using, 
some cello tape, but you should really use some insulation tape because that's what it's probably pretty much designed for. And uh, I'm just going to be using cello tape because I couldn't find any insulation tape lying around. Okay, so we've got a bit of insulation, uh, a bit of cello tape right here. That's it. Uh, should be strong enough. Lay it over like that. Fold it around so we don't mess it up. Maybe do a bit more folding. Squash it down. I'll take a bit more time over this than me, but I'm only doing a video, so. Okay. Then there's this one. Fold it over. Squash it down a bit so it's a bit flatter. Then, because of the uh, different lengths, we've got a bit of a bit of a change here, so I'm just going to try and sort that out by pulling this one up and bending that round. Okay, now just a bigger piece of tape, a bit longer. That's just going to go straight across here. Yeah. So there we go. We just need to make sure that's all folded over and pretty good, quite neat connection. Now what I would do if I had some was get some cable braid in, uh, and then pull that all across uh, the plug. But as I haven't got any, I went straight ahead for this. But I mean, before you do. Uh, connect these together as we've got such large items on each end and no plug uh, we couldn't put the cable braiding on very easily right now um, but we'll just slip that on and then connect it together and then slip it right down here uh, maybe do some shrink wrap over this instead of some extra tape uh, and if you've got a plug maybe shrink wrap that if you're pretty sure you probably won't be wanting to change it very uh, soon Okay, so then that's pretty much it. That's all we need to have is this nice connection here. Goes up to the fan. Uh, and all the way down through this wire to here. I'm going to leave it on 12 volts. Uh, one thing I'm going to say is uh, 12 volts on a 12 volt fan is going to be the optimal and maximum voltage we can uh, give it. And uh, by giving it this many volts, we're going to have quite uh, the fastest speed it can support and also the loudest that it can be. Uh, if we've got like a mobile phone adapter that's about 5 volts, I'd check them, uh, make sure it's DC as well, uh, it'll be spinning at a very nice quite slow speed, uh, then also it's going to be spinning very quietly, uh, but it's also going to be fine for like if I put it in this cupboard, which is going to go in uh, to just take some air out to cool it down, I think it should be pretty alright. Uh, and then at 1.5 volts, it doesn't move. 3 volts isn't probably the minimum I'd use, uh, but it's pretty useless at 3 volts anyway. So I'm just going to plug it in right now. There's a the fan going, and it's very quiet blowing air towards me at the moment. Uh, which is around obviously to suck out. That's very quiet this fan. It's a good fan. Uh, it was only about three fifty four pound on scan.credit.k. It's a Zigma Tex X I G M A T E K. Uh, if you wanted to pick one of these up, uh, I recommend you would. If you want something very quiet, uh, brushless. Uh, so it should be pretty pretty good all the way through. Okay then, thanks for watching, hopefully you can have a look at my channel page, uh, especially just like this video if it helps you, uh, and subscribe definitely if you like the rest of my videos which are different to this. Thanks a lot, bye.